we are going to bring as much of a law enforcement presence into the city as necessary to keep all of the city safe. Um, and we're committed to doing that. The governor-elect making good on his promise to focus on crime. He says it's out of control in New Orleans, especially. Today, he announced several more cabinet picks, including the head of the National Guard, the state fire marshal's office, and the next state police superintendent. He was in New Orleans today, where we find a Chris Rosado to bring us the details. Chris. Well, with New Orleans being one of the largest revenue streams that the state has, the governor-elect says that it's time to take a much more different approach when it comes to attacking crime. And what better place to do it than right here in New Orleans in the Superdome? Governor-elect Jeff Landry picked Robert Hodges to be the next head of state police after having served with LSP for the last 28 years. He also dubbed General Thomas Freelu to be the next leader of the state's National Guard and former state representative Brian Adams to lead the state fire marshal's office. And these are people who I know from just the on the road trooper to the highest levels of the department are going to ensure that our roads and our communities are kept safe. With New Orleans selected to host the Super Bowl in 2025, for some, today's announcement in the Superdome serves as a symbol that moving forward, there's going to be a new sheriff in town with a significant increase in state troopers on the ground in our large cities. We have a Super Bowl. That's an important, that is where the world starts to watch. And it's going to happen right here in the city in 13 months. Something that took many by surprise today was a partnership announced between Governor-elect Landry's office and the New Orleans District Attorney, a progressive Democrat. Rome is burning. Uh, and when, when Rome is burning, everybody needs to step into action and treat it like the emergency situation that it is. So I got to tell you, uh, I'm really excited about the possibilities of this partnership, what it'll mean to public safety in the city of New Orleans, and frankly, what it'll mean uh, to this country right now where it seems like R's and D's can't talk. Part of that partnership will include Attorney General-elect Liz Merle leading prosecution of defendants arrested as a result of state police investigations in Orleans Parish. We will work to ensure that LSP is the finest law enforcement organization in this country. Now, the governor-elect still has several more cabinet picks he has yet to announce, but we can expect to hear who those will be before he's inaugurated come January. In New Orleans, Chris Rosado, WAB, 9 News, back to you. Chris, thank you. On to a Crime Stopper.